Hi, Rick. Good evening. Yeah, city leaders are vowing to crack down out here, and there is certainly a heightened police presence tonight. In fact, the LAPD helicopter is flying overhead right now. We've seen black and whites patrolling the bridge going back and forth, and we've also seen uh, motorcycle cops doing the same here across the 6th Street Bridge. Right now, you can see traffic is flowing smoothly, but last night, it was another story and another night of chaos with rowdy crowds taking over the new city landmark. Cars stopping and starting, people getting out and taking pictures, cars burning out and skidding. The bridge was closed last night again for a time. LAPD had to order people to get off because of people getting out of control. The bridge has only been open for about two weeks. Already it's had plenty of trouble. It seems night after night there was a truck that got rear-ended. There was an accident last night. There have been all kinds of people gathering out here, some people climbing up on the arches and doing other dangerous stunts. I've seen uh, guys on the bikes, on the arches, you know, taking their bikes, BMXing on the arches. Uh, there was a guy earlier who was tattooing on the bridge. Somebody was getting a haircut right in front of the, right in the, right in the middle of the yellow lane. Somebody Where'd was getting a that? on TikTok. Accident, yeah, a car, car accident. <laughs> yeah, where'd, I see. It? I see now on Instagram. City Councilman Kevin DeLeon putting out a statement saying Angelinos deserve stunning projects in their neighborhood and we won't be deterred by a few scoff laws who tarnish the vision for the people who need it most. The locals, they want these nightly takeovers to stop. I'm glad they're cleaning things up and I think it's going to be great. We, we support the law enforcement that's out here now cracking down on people. It's awesome. And since earlier in the week, LAPD has been out here stopping speeders and ticketing them. They've had to clean up graffiti. They're now considering installing cameras out on the bridge to take a deeper look. And the street racing team task force is also out here monitoring the scene, making sure things stay safe. Violators, we know, could face fines, citations, and you could even be arrested depending on what's going on out here. So back here live, again, people who live in Boyle Heights, you know, they just don't want this. They're sick and tired of it. They want it to end. And a lot of people are hoping that when when the newness wears off, so will a lot of this commotion that's been happening out here at night. But again, expect to see these increased patrols. LAPD is taking this very seriously. Back to you in Hollywood.